Now to a closer look at Russian President Vladimir Putin. What's behind his decision to invade Ukraine and how far could he go? Our foreign correspondent James Longman is in Moscow for us this morning. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Michael. So many people here really did not believe right up until the moment we saw the first explosions that this invasion would happen. But as I've been told time and time again here, this is not Russia's war. One man is driving this, Vladimir Putin. This morning, all eyes on Vladimir Putin, the Russian president who this week unleashed the largest use of military force on the European continent since the Second World War. So many here didn't want to believe that the Russian leader, who spent 23 years at the top of Russian politics, would attack. But in the face of serious sanctions, he went ahead with a wide-reaching invasion. He feels that, that Ukraine is an inescapable part of the greater Russian nation. I think what he's trying to achieve is to create a world that respects Russia again. Putin, who was born in St. Petersburg in 1952, grew up an impoverished young man before beginning his career as a member of the KGB, working for the Soviet Union's notorious spy agency for 15 years. From there, he turned to politics, becoming prime minister in 1999, then acting president the year after, cementing his reputation as both a cunning statesman and tough authoritarian. He's often acted in direct opposition to the US, accused of interfering in the 2016 election. And under his watch, Russia is accused of poisoning adversaries, like former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal in the UK in 2018 and the dissident Alexei Navalny in 2020. The Russian government has denied responsibility and calls the accusations Western propaganda. Putin's feeling is that you should crush dissent at the earliest possible moment. So he is very sensitive to people who might be rivals. Despite that, Putin is popular with Russians and he likes to celebrate his macho persona in images like these. You know, most Russians looked at him as somebody who brought stability to, to Russia and, uh, you know, who was a great leader. In 2014, Putin hosted the Winter Olympic Games in Sochi. It is a great honor for me to address you today. Which all began with a personal pitch. George interviewed him in Russia in his first American broadcast interview in years ahead of those games. What do you say to Americans who see Russia and you not only as a rival, but an unfriendly adversary? Between major countries, there certainly always are some common ground and points of tension. With respect to athletes, I'd recommend and advise them not to think about the political differences. Politics should not interfere with sports, and sports should impact politics. In nearly a quarter century in power, Putin has faced down five different U.S. presidents, most recently going toe-to-toe -to -toe with President Biden at a summit in June. Before that meeting, President Biden telling George this. So you know Vladimir Putin, you think he's a killer? Mm-hmm, I do. Now concerns are growing about just how far Putin will go. I think he's reaching back deeper into history to recreate the Russian Empire even before the Soviet Union. I think that he believes, perhaps is deluded to believe, that this is the moment when he can do that. For so long, Putin has consolidated an image as a cold, calculating statesman who only acts in strict, rational self-interest. But if he is indeed built, hell-bent on rebuilding a Russian empire at any cost, there is a distinct threat beyond just Ukraine. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.